Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So today I'm going to talk a little bit on uh, perception and how perception is actually illusory in itself. And uh, I'm going to get like into the five physical senses a little bit and how they're illusory. Um, and why not to, to fully uh, trust your senses, okay? Um, and why not to judge your perception? Um, because it can actually leave you blinded if you rely solely on your perception, okay? Um, and your senses, your, your sensory experience as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, so the five physical senses, they are illusory in their nature because they're very, very limiting to begin with. Um, there is this thing called the electromagnetic spectrum and we can only, with the five physical senses, we can only perceive like less than 1% of, of that electromagnetic spectrum. And electromagnetic energy is, is conscious energy, okay? It's consciousness, basically. So, so that 1% that we perceive with the five physical senses are is just a small amount of what we're able to to be conscious of when it comes to experience perceptually perceptually if if that is a word it's pretty much a word now um so when you go uh i want to say when you start activating more of your extrasensory uh perception it opens up the electromagnetic spectrum from from 1% to more of it. I don't know how much more of it, but it's as much as you can become conscious of, okay? Because it's like, once you start understanding that, that the five physical senses are illusory and there's much more sense, there's much more um, extra sense, there's much more perception to be awakened and there's much more dimension you start to actually uh, come into more more uh, dimension of perception, if that makes any sense. Um, it starts to to activate itself as you start to understand that that five physical senses or physical reality uh, is illusory because it goes way deeper, and this is just a veil. The the five physical senses coming together is just a, a type of veil and it can be um, broken through into into extra senses and this uh, unveils your perception allowing you to become conscious of, of more uh, dimension okay more experience so what happens is is you open up that uh, amount of the electromagnetic spectrum that you're able to to actually uh, experience. So with the five physical senses, it's about it's about one percent maybe. So right now with the sensory uh, perception, most people are are uh, only experiencing one percent of all that there is. But but every uh, thing, every being experiences life in a different dimension. 
uh, every being experiences life differently. Uh, a snake doesn't even um, have ears, you know, so it, it, that's already changing its, its perception. It uses its body uh, and it uses the, the, the vibrations carried out seismically to, to get a different uh, view on things. You know, so, so everything sees life differently. A bird sees life differently from human. Um, we're, we're seeing, we're all seeing life differently. You know, uh, trees get a different view on life than, than we do. So, so everything is uh, pretty much in that electromagnetic spectrum uh, in a different way, you know they're all we're all seeing it uh at a different area of the electromagnetic spectrum if it was like a um like a wheel or something you know and 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 uh we're all tuning into it at different areas but as you start to lift the veil uh, of five senses and physical sense or, or physical perception in itself, as you start to break through that, um, you start to, to, to understand that there's much more than what we have always thought there was um, with, with normal uh, sensory perception, you know, uh, which is like the five physical senses. And, and that 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum, it starts to open up into more. And you're, you're able to become conscious of more experience, more dimension, more perception. So you start having all of these experiences that you can't really explain because um, most of the time they're not experienced by other people. There is, uh, there is dimensions that are able to be perceived by a collective of people that is beyond the five physical sense and this would be uh this would be agreed upon and then this would be uh popularized you know and 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 talked about and traveled deeper and deeper and and uh studied more and more and then made into something to travel you know uh, or experience but then there's also dimensions where you can break into that is not explored by any other individual you know so so it can be completely unique to you and your uh signature or it can be a, a collected a collective dimension that is um explored and studied you know like like uh telepathic communication i want to say is one um one one of these abilities that has come from from being able to break through the the five physical senses and um, it's been popularized, it's been used, you know, um, a lot of people use telepathy nowadays. We've been using it for probably millennia, um, probably before we even um, began to speak, we were using telepathy. Uh, so, so x-ray, I wanna say, and, and, and various different, um, Various different lenses that we have, that we use for, for mainly uh, medical things. These are all different abilities or, or extrasensory abilities or dimensions that, that, that we have been able to, to break into. For example, x-ray is something that we can naturally do. But instead of allowing the 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 modern uh, day man or or the the uh, the person to to be able to see uh, people in X-ray vision, what they did was was they took that ability and they they uh, went through some type of uh, technologies that we exteriorize so so we can be able to um, we can be able to to get uh, maybe. I want to say a commercialization off of the ability of being able to x-ray or being able to um, see somebody uh, in x-ray vision, you know, but there's, mu there's much more of these, of these dimensions that we can break through into that are on the electromagnetic spectrum. And, and um, 
you can travel all of these. You don't actually need the technologies that they've created to be able to uh, tune into this stuff or be able to see uh, in these types of uh, lenses, you know. It's just so that they did that because um, maybe they want to put you off of something, you know, of, of you being divinity and you being able to to break through uh, normal experience and, and the veil of perception, you know, but, but don't ever let uh, normal perception um, guide you in totality or fully because it's illusory it's an illusion it's just a veil over us you know and and it it is made to be bro broken through five physical sense reality is literally just a veil it's um it's like smoke and mirrors you know is is all it is it goes so much deeper when you're able to uh pierce the veil and you're able to break into um extrasensory uh hyperspace you know um and don't ever let it guide you and don't ever judge your perception either because uh if you judge your perception it can also lead to to uh it can eat it can lead to a type of of uh disidentification you know which what which is what perception in itself already brings to you um following five sensory perception can lead you to a type of uh, disidentification. It can bring you to identify yourself as a uh, minute and an egotistical, or you are identifying yourself as an ego because of the illusory nature of five physical reality or five uh, sense reality. And as you break through that, you start to um, perceive more of life. You start to open up the electromagnetic spectrum, which is also uh, conscious energy or consciousness. And as you become more conscious of, of more of the universe, then you start to identify yourself as more of the universe. And, and the more you're able to expand this and the more you're able to uh, open this up, you start to identify yourself as uh, more of the universe and and you start uh dissolving away your old ego which is uh for most people the physical body and maybe some thought process you know but it's so much more cuz you're actually the universe but it's just so that we're trapped in in a very very minute ego or 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 five physical sense experience or perception which is also the veil but once you break through the five physical senses and come into extrasensory natures, um, you can start to perceive more of, of what is actually there uh, because there's infinity, you know, there's infinite dimension to explore and, and it never ends. And um, they want to keep you within a, a limited identity. They want to keep you identified as the body the physical body or or uh, physical experience or the mind even and like thought looping thought process um but when you break through all of that what has been conditioned onto you it makes it so that you uh start to perceive more uh dimensions more reality okay um, beyond the physical and beyond the mind and uh, you s can start astral traveling you can start doing things like this um, because you're already doing this you do this every night as you sleep you're astral traveling okay you're going to other star systems uh, you're traveling in time you're uh, influencing the space-time continuum fourth dimensionally uh, you're doing this type of stuff but you are unconscious of it because all throughout your life, as soon as you're birthed, and even when you're in the womb, and even in your past lives, you can be conditioned to go unconscious any time that, that you uh, break through the veil, okay? Because they make it uh, a regularity of some sort to where it uh, keeps you going unconscious every time you, you uh, transcend the, the physical body or the mind even, you know, when you start astral traveling, when you start traveling the cosmos or when you're on a different planet or when you're in a different dimension uh you're mainly unconscious 
or you trick yourself into thinking it's just a hallucination, but in reality, it's uh, actually way deeper than that, okay? But they don't want you to know that. Uh, they want to keep you conditioned to think that th this is all it is. It's just um, physical experience, but, but that's completely... Um, that's completely wrong. <laughs> okay, so don't ever trust five sensory uh, experience or perception because uh, it's an illusor. It's an illusion. Okay, it's illusory in its nature, and, and it can be broken through. And uh, once you break through it, you can then understand uh, that life is infinitely deeper than you can even imagine. And uh, all of that is what can be said to be actually real if you want to say that that any of life is real okay um but the nature of it is a dream so dreams are eternal in their nature just as uh, the dimensionality of existence is as well so so uh the nature of reality is eternal and there's eternal realities it's not just physical reality that there is so so don't trust it understand for one, uh, that it's just a, uh, it's just a type of, of, uh, drama or a play or a stage or a joke, you know, uh, it's not serious in its nature, um, so don't get trapped in it and don't identify too heavily with it, with, with physical experience, the body or the mind, because if you do that, uh, you will start to fall into suffering and disidentifications and, um, it can leave you, it can leave you in, in a in a type of reincarnation trap or cycle, and uh, it can it can uh, be bad on your on your progression of consciousness or your, the growth of your soul, as well. So, um, for anybody who may be struggling with this on a on a subconscious level, uh, and you're listening to this, I can be the one to break you free from that. Okay, maybe on some subtle level, but. That's going to be it for today's video. Once again, hope everybody did enjoy. Uh, don't trust physical experience. Understand that it is very minute. And uh, identifying with, with your physical body, the third dimension, and the, the mind, the fourth dimension, can be uh, disidentifying. Identify yourself with the entirety of the universe. But it's, it's hard to, to just have this identification it comes with experience you really need to experience being the the totality of the universe in in order to actually change the the identification so um how to have that experience once again uh it can come from many different things for me it's meditation uh because with meditation i'm able to break through into into uh, more of the electromagnetic spectrum i'm able to uh, make it conscious when I'm traveling the cosmos, doing things like this. Also yoga. Uh, a lot of people take uh, substances to do this as well. There's many different methods to do it. Um, for some people, it just comes natural as well. So, so uh, just trust the journey, I guess, because everybody has their own awakening into this. Um, no matter if it's in this life or in the next or in the, in the, in the previous lives. Or if, if it happened in the previous lives, you're probably going to be uh, awake in this life. But if, you're, if you feel as though you're not, just uh, let it be and relax and don't worry uh, because it comes to every person, you know. So once again, that's going to be it. I hope everybody did enjoy. Don't trust the five physical senses. It is just a veil, okay? It is an illusion. And it is uh, actually being unveiled during the Great Awakening. So more and more people are coming to understand that it is an illusion. Okay. Uh, nature or reality is a dream. Okay. So it is just a dream in its nature. And it is eternal. There is no death. Because death is non-existent. And it equals non-existence. So death is non-existent. Um, there is only life, eternal life, okay? That's going to be it one last time. I hope everybody did enjoy. Peace out and enjoy your afternoon.